Excitement and adventure are around every corner this summer at your library. Create your own literary wonderland at home. Immerse yourself in our never-ending online library. Learn new skills, explore virtual events, and connect with your community in a whole new way. Starting May 18th, the Prince George's County Memorial Library System and the Washington Nationals bring summer at your library to you. Hit a home run this summer and register today. Good afternoon, and thanks for joining us for STEM at Home, our live virtual STEM activity. Today you'll be joined by Ms. Michelle. Hope you enjoy. Hi, everyone. Welcome to STEM at Home. I am Michelle. I am with Prince George County Memorial Library System. Today, we are going to explore geometry with Penguin Puzzle. We know geometry is a branch of math that is dealing with all kinds of shapes and their property. But what is a Tanguan puzzle? A Tanguan puzzle is an ancient Chinese puzzle that is made of seven pieces. And I have a picture here to show you. Here is a picture of the puzzle pieces that are assembled together into a big square. And today, I'm going to show you how to make your own Tanguan puzzle. And after that, you're going to use those puzzle pieces to make different kind of pictures. By doing so, you are really exploring geometry and also having a lot of fun. And before I start showing, before I start to show you how to make your um, puzzle, I'm gonna show you what material you will need. First of all, you need paper. You can use colored paper or a white paper, or, but a blank paper is better. And uh, you can just use construction paper or printer paper. And then you also need um, a pencil and uh, a marker or a sharpie, a fat marker, and an uh, eraser, and also a ruler and a pair of scissors. Now, let me show you how to draw your puzzle. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to draw the tanguin, um puzzle. First of all, you get out your paper and we have our ruler and you're going to draw a big um, square, eight inches by eight inches. So this is eight. And the other one here is eight inches. All right, so we make sure this side is eight inches. Yeah, this is eight inches. And that, that. all right. So you're gonna use your, um, draw this big circle for a big square first. After you um, have your eight by eight inch um, square, then you are going to um, mark um, on the top of your square, mark them into four equal parts. So I'm going to mark it at the two centimeter part, uh, two inches, four, six, because A divided by four, so each segment is two inches. And you're going to do it um, the same thing for the bottom. You have two, four, six. And you want to do the same thing for the side as well, both sides to divide them into four equal part. And each part is two inches. So this is two, four, six. And then this is the other side. All right, here we go. Two, four, six. Now you mark your side with, um, two inches increment segment and you're gonna connect them together. You're gonna draw three lines. This is the first one and the second one. Eventually they will become a grid. And the third one. And then you're gonna do the same thing for top and the bottom. A 
actually they line up so they are all straight as square so now you have um draw all this line and then that's me inside your big um, square you have many small squares all right when you finish this so that's how you look like a big square with small square inside now you want to use your sharpie I'm using a black one and then you want to outline the big square first okay so outline the big square with your sharpie and then make it really dark and clear um, for the for for every side so I'm gonna do it for this side as well because the you want to make it really dark because this is the line eventually you will need to cut it but of course this tooth that is already your end you don't have to cut it but we're just gonna mark it so it's easier to see your square okay you mark then and then there's one more sign then you Big square is completely marked. Okay. All right, I think that's clear enough. And then now you have to draw a few lines to do your puzzle. First of all, you are going to connect um, from the top right corner to the bottom left corner, and then you want to draw a big diagonal line. Big line to connect them together like this. Yes, this is the first one you want to draw and then the second one is this one is diagonal you want to do another one is shorter but it's parallel to this. So that's what you want to do is connect these two, the middle of the corner on the top line to the left hand side in the middle, connect these two dots and then with your marker and you're going to draw another one. Okay. And after that, you want to draw another diagonal. This is from your left side corner to the bottom right corner. However, this diagonal line, you're going to draw from the bottom, but you don't go all the way to the top. You're going to stop right here on this line. Okay, so let me show you right like this. So you have to go all the way up and then stop right here. Stop right there. And then you just have two more lines to go. The next one is you're going to connect this dot to this corner, to this dot, so these two of them you're going to connect them with your sharp ruler, draw the line, and you're almost done, so you have one more line to draw, it's from this place, coming down all the way and stop right here, so that's what you're going to do, Just go and stop right here, now you finish drawing your uh, 10 grand puzzles. I'm going to put away my Sharpie and now you take up your eraser and you're going to erase all the pencil line in the middle. Um, the reason you want to do this is, is because when you cut it, you will not mistake the cut into your puzzle pieces, you know. So you erase all the pencil line with your eraser. after you get it all erased. So that would make your cutting a little bit easier so you won't make any mistake when you cut, all right? So now this is all clean and then you take up your scissors and you can cut out this big square first. Cut out this big square. And the way I cut it is I always cut out this big square first. and that we don't need it anymore. And now we're gonna cut, as the way we draw it, we're gonna cut this diagonal line first. This will cut entire um, square into two big triangles. All right? And then we're going to cut this two into another half. You have. 
Now you have two pieces here, and then we're gonna cut the rest. I usually cut this first. This is another triangle. This is your third piece, and then you just need to cut the rest like this. Now you're all finished. They're all cut, and then you have your penguin puzzle pieces, and then we can look at your yeah, this is exactly seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we can look at this shape, okay? This is very interesting. We have two big triangles. They are exactly the same, like this. You can, you can tell they are exactly the same. And then the second, the medium sized triangle is a little bit smaller. And then, then there are two more pieces of the triangle. They are exactly the same as well, and they are even smaller than this one. So in math, we call this kind of um, situation, you see this triangle, they are exactly the same shape, but they are in different size, but their size coming in some kind of proportion. You can tell um, like this, these three, you know, they are like in scale. So this one is exactly the half of this size-wise, because if you put, these are exactly the same, and then you put them together like this, and then they are exactly the same like this, okay? And so let's just pretend they are, we have two of this, okay? And then this is exactly the area, half of this, because we know these are exactly the same, and then you put them together, you can tell, you see? They are exactly half of that. You can tell. So you know, size-wise, they come in scale for these three shape of the triangle, uh, three sides of the triangle. And then we also have this one, we know this is a square because the each side, is, this is the smaller square and then the, or, earlier we have a big square, so this is a square and then this is a, um, another shape. This is the shape has four sides, however this is not a square, a square has to be, um, each corner has to be a, um, a 90 degree, but this one is not, we call this is parallelogram because this shape is the top are parallel and the side are parallel as well. The parallel means that if you extend them, these two lines, they will never cross each other. So this is called parallelogram. Now you have all your pieces, then we are going to use this to make different shapes, okay? Make into different pictures. So, all right. Now we are going to use our puzzle to create pictures. You can try to make a very simple picture like an arrow. Oh, you can make a fancy arrow like this. Oh, we can try to make a Christmas tree. And we can even try to make a fancier tree with layer. This layer, and we can pick this um, parallelogram here and put this on the top, and then we put this here. And then the last piece, we're gonna put it right here. So, this is a fancier tree with all seven pieces. 
and uh, um, let's try we can create some animals uh, maybe we can try to make a cat this is a face Let's put the ear and the face together. And after that, we can do the body. Another part of uh, this way. Make the body of the cat. And this can be the tail, and this is the paw. So this is a cat with all the seven pieces and let's try something else. Let's try and wrap it. Mm. And this is the body of the rabbit. And I'll cross the body and this is the leg. Maybe this one should go here or the other will be better. Uh, so here is a rabbit. And uh, um, let's try some sea creatures. Let's make this as a body of a turtle. How about this? We make a turtle and we need to put the leg for the turtle. So this will be a turtle. And uh, next one, let's try to make a fish. This will be the head and the side of the body of the fish. And we're gonna add the tail. And then this last piece, we can put it this way. So this does look like a fish. And uh, um, now let's see, we can try to do something, maybe a boat. Since we talk about a fish, let's try to make a boat. Let's try to make a boat. Mm. Finish the body of the and we can put a sail with this two big triangle. So here is the boat. And the last one I want to show you is we try to make a house. So This top will be the roof, and we can add the chimney. And uh, we need to um, put this piece together. Here we go. So this is a house. So these are just some example of using your um, tangle and puzzle pieces to create pictures. And then you can try some more at home and then continue to have more fun with this puzzle you just made. And thank you for joining us. And uh, it, have a wonderful day. Excitement and adventure are around every corner this summer at your library. Create your own literary wonderland at home. 
immerse yourself in our never-ending online library. Learn new skills, explore virtual events, and connect with your community in a whole new way. Starting May 18th, the Prince George's County Memorial Library System and the Washington Nationals bring summer at your library.